Okay, we have Nick Broker. He has a couple of comments first. Uh, just thank you guys for being here. Really honored to be here and uh, represent Ole Miss. Uh, you know, really excited for this season. Okay, we'll open up with some questions here on your right. Tyler Shaw with KBTX in, in College Station. Nick, just, you know, coming off a 10-win season, how, how do you guys top that? I mean, you know, what, I guess, kind of springboard was that for, for this season now? Yeah, definitely. I feel like, you know, going into last season, the Outback Bowl kind of propelled us. You know, we kind of got a good taste of winning, and that helped us a lot last year. You know, now, you know, we had a good regular season and kind of have a sour taste in our mouth from the Sugar Bowl, so I think we're expecting a lot more this year. You've played in a large part of the games throughout your career. Is that a source of pride that you've been there every time the team's on the field? Yeah, definitely. You know, I feel like there's really no moment too big at this point just because, like you said, of it's been my fourth year playing and really seen a lot, really learned a lot. We'll go to your left on the back row. Dan Peck, ESPN 106.7 in Auburn. Replacing Matt Corral is obviously going to be one of the challenges for the Ole Miss offense this year. There are a couple contenders uh, to be the new quarterback. What have you seen uh, from, the, uh, from the quarterback competition as, uh, as, as one of the stalwarts of the offense? Uh, yeah, I know it's been really cool to see. You know, they've competed really well with each other, really helped each other grow. And, you know, done things the right way. You know, they have competed, but, you know, at the same time, they've kept the relationship on and off the field. And, you know, it's been really fun to see them both get better and keep, like, the same level of friendship off the field. To your left on the second row. Joe Cook, WAPT in Jackson. Nick, um, just talk about the continuity you guys have on the offensive line and how important it is, you know, in this day and age with transfer portal, you guys got a lot of new faces on both sides of the ball. But with that continuity, do you think the offensive line unit can be the unit to lead this group this year? Yeah, definitely. Like you said, we have a lot of guys coming back. I think we returned four starters, and Mason's coming in as well. You know, he's really fit in like a glove with us. You know, um, he's done a really great job of really, you know, meshing in with us. And like you said, there's a lot of new guys, but, you know, we're kind of, you know, an older group now. A lot of us have been playing for a couple of years now, and, you know, it's really, you know, our time to kind of lead the team. On your right, second row. You know, the, the NIL rules, it's been about a year since that went to effect. Do you feel like it's changed the game at all? And, you know, if so, how? A little bit, you know, definitely. I think, you know, uh, it is kind of expected for that to happen. You know, you kind of see it all over. But, uh, you know, overall, I think it is a good thing for all student athletes. To your right, third row. Hey, Nick, uh, obviously Lane's the offensive mind, but just interested with, with Weiss coming in and, and Levy leaving. How much of this is Kiffin's offense versus, you know, the offensive coordinator and how big of adjustment is that for you guys? Uh, you know, it is really cool to see them work together. You know, they've worked together in the past and, you know, they kind of mesh well together. And, you know, it's kind of cool, you know, le learning from both of those guys. You know, they really see eye to eye and on the same page. And uh, it's really fun to, you know, be around both of those, you know, offensive geniuses, so to speak. Go to your left on the back row again. The quarterbacks get a lot of the attention, but the running game has been one of the reasons why Ole Miss's offense has been so potent under Coach Kiffin these last couple of years. You bring in some new running backs, uh, but, but I imagine the expectation is that you guys are still going to try uh, to attack on, on the ground as, as effectively as you have in the past? Yeah, definitely. You know, we're, we were very fortunate, you know, last couple of years we had Snoop and Ely, and this year, you know, we have Zach and uh, do and you know even uh, Quinchon Jenkins, Kentrell Bullock. You know we've got a really good group of running backs that we're really you know excited about. And you know offensive line wise, you know as long as we can open up holes for those guys, you know they have their the ability to hit home run plays really whenever. Is left tackle the focal point of the offensive line, or why is that in, in perception wise at least a high profile position? Yeah, I mean I feel like you know it's the blind side, it's the movie, <laughs> you know, but. Uh, really with the offensive line, you know, it really is just five is one, you know, it starts with the center and communicating and, you know, left tackle, like you said, is kind of viewed as a very important position, but uh, I mean, they're all very important. How important is it to be able to start two positions on a line? Yeah, for me, you know, it's a big change, but, you know, I've really embraced it and I've really enjoyed it. And, you know, for future endeavors, I think it's going to really help pay off in the end. To your left, back row. Uh, we asked Cedric about, um, about the Tennessee game last year, which is one of the more memorable college football games of the season. Your lasting memories of, uh, of, of that night and, and sort of what you'll be telling folks, you know, down the line in your life about, about that game? Yeah, I've never been a part of anything like that. It was pretty wild, you know. Uh, kind of took me a second to realize what was happening, to be completely honest with you. The game was stopped, and I didn't really understand why. Next thing I know, there's kind of things falling at my feet, you know, hitting people, and next thing you know, there's a golf ball going at lane. And <laughs> but uh, it was... You know, something you'll be able to tell about, you know, pretty much for the rest of my life. 
We'll stay on the left of the back row. Nick, how important is, considering the coaches that have changed, a lot of players from last year that have gone, how important is keeping continuity for the guys that are back this season? Yeah, you know, it's very important. You know, we still have a lot of returning guys as well. Obviously, you know, there are some new faces, but you still have a really good core group of guys, a group of good group of older guys that have really, you know, been able to help as leaders. And uh, so I'm, I'm really excited about that as well. Another one here on the right. What's it like playing for, for Lane Kiffin? Um, you know, Cedric described him as having a kind of a swag about him. I mean, what, just from your perspective, what's it like, you know, playing for a coach like Lane Kiffin? Yeah, like you said, there's a lot of swag, a lot of moxie. But uh, I think, you know, the biggest thing is he kind of allows us to be ourselves. You know, I really appreciate that. Uh, you know, he kind of lets it be a player-led team, which is really, just really all he really asks for. Uh, there's a lot of different personalities, but at the end of the day, you know, a lot of players really appreciate that because we can all act, act like ourselves. You've been around the block a few times in the conference on the road. What are the most memorable places to play? Tennessee. Uh, <laughs> Tennessee's definitely one. Um, to me, Auburn's always been a really cool environment. You know, anytime you get to play the Egg Bowl at State with the Cowboys, I think, you know, that's always a pretty special game. You know, playing on Thursday for, on Thanksgiving Day, you know, us against State, that's always a really fun game to play in as well. We have any other questions? We have a good talker here. Another one here on the right. Uh, you know, when you think about, you know, realistic expectations for, for this team, do you guys, you know, talk about what you did last year and, and what the goal is this year at all? A little bit. You know, I think we're just kind of more so using the uh, last year's experience as, you know, a guidance for this year. You know, we won a lot of close games. And, you know, even in the two, three games really that we lost, you know, we were right there. You know, a couple of plays really changed the game. So, you know, coming up with a mindset, you know, that we can go every, every week just 1-0 and and how many – Little plays can really change the outcome of a game and really change the outcome of a season. I think those are really big things we're looking at now. To your left, back row. The offense gets more of the attention, but Ole Miss has a defense that's been getting better every year under Coach Kiffin. What should folks expect out of the defense this year and any, any players in particular pe people should keep an eye on? Yeah, I mean, like you said, there's a lot of talent on defense. You know, said Johnson had a really good spring. Uh, a lot of the DBs have done a really great job. Miles Battle, DeAndre Prince. Uh, 10 has done a really great job as well. And, you know, J.J. Pegues has been a really good pickup for us as well. I'm, I'm really excited about him. And, you know, uh, overall, I feel like the defense has just done a great job, you know, schematically really mixing up a lot of different looks for us. And so it's been really fun to see them improve. On the front row. A.P. Stedham, WHEP, uh, Foley, Alabama. Uh, what's the most challenging thing for you to play left tackle? Is it going against all those fabulous athletes that are trying to get to your quarterback? Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of space. You know, there's some really freak athletes that can really bend the edge and, uh, you know, have the ability to go inside and some length. So, uh, you know, definitely that's been probably the toughest part is, like you said, guys that can really, you know, I mean, there's guys that come off the edge and run like four fours and things like that. But, uh, I mean, that's what you really expect in this league. You're back here on the right. Uh, what was it li like around town having the baseball team you know, bring home a national championship? And is there, I mean, there's already the rivalry, but the fact that, you know, Mississippi State, Ole Miss, back-to-back -back national champions, is there a little bit more uh, of that added to the rivalry, I guess? Yeah, I mean, Oxford was crazy. I've never seen Oxford like that. You know, um, every place was just slammed, you know, every, every restaurant, everything, you know, it was unbelievable, you know, how everybody really came together. And it was really cool to see, you know, our team really, you know, they let the Rebs get hot, like everybody said, and it was awesome to, you know, see. And like you said, State went back to your State one the year before and we won. So I think really in general, which is a great thing for the state of Mississippi that we were kind of able to do that. But I think, yeah, you know, definitely, I think there's a little more fuel to the fire now. Back row. You mentioned J.J. Pegues uh, previously. Uh, a lot of Auburn folks were upset to see him leave. He became a, a fan favorite pretty early in his Auburn career. Uh, how's he uh, fitting in at Ole Miss? I know he was excited to get back to uh, a little bit closer to home. Yeah, like you said, I mean, he's from Oxford. So for him, he's just coming back home. And I think, you know, for him, he's, he's really meshed in well with all of us, honestly. He's a great guy, great guy to have around. You know, works really hard and easy to talk to. And whenever you can add guys like that to the locker room, it makes everybody's life a lot easier. We have any last questions? All right. Thanks very much. Good job. Thank you.